Hello everyone, I'm Jake and today I'll be reviewing the Rats Commander, Marinaur. Marinaur is a 2-3 for 5 and says all rats have fear. His activated ability states, tap and sacrifice a rat to put X 1-1 black rat creature tokens into play where X is the number of rats you control. This is a fun commander that can spell out a ridiculous amount of rats very fast, which will enable you to have the stinkiest board state out of all your opponents. The strategy is pretty simple here, get out as many rat colonies as you can and sacrifice them to Marinaur, which will fill up your graveyard and that would allow you to bring them back with either an echoing return or a patriarch's bidding then with your board state full of 1-1 one, one tokens and huge rat colonies you can swing for the win you're in mono black which means you can run cabal coffers and cabal stronghold which in turn grants you to make a massive amount of mana that would allow you to put together splashy plays in the late game bantu's monument and jet medallion are fantastic additions that reduce the mana cost of all your creatures and or black spells all together bantu's can really hit its stride when you're casting a lot of rats lastly we have patriarch seal now this is definitely a mana rock in this deck not only can this tap for mana, it also has the ability to untap your commander. If you haven't already seen Marinara's activated ability, I'll show it again here. This can really get you going early and will help you assemble the ideal board state a lot faster. For spot removal, we have Go for the Throat and Hero's Downfall. These are decent instant speed removal spells for mono black. The reason I left out Feed the Swarm is due to the fact that it causes you to lose life. With this deck, you will be losing a lot of life one way or another unless you achieve a pristine board state early on. It's up to personal preference here. I want to sideboard it for a while until I get hit with a propaganda or a ghostly prison. Grave Pact is also a great pick here. Every time you sacrifice a creature with your commander, it will force your opponents to do the same. For mass removal or rolling with Crippling Fear and Kindred Dominance, I really love one-sided board wipes and these are perfect for this deck. Crippling Fear will get rid of any chump blockers to force your opponents into using their more valuable creatures in combat. Kindred Dominance wipes away everything that isn't a rat. If that's not enough motivation to run it, then I don't know what is. One of the most important categories when it comes to deck building, it's card advantage. Ideally, you're looking for Ayara, Forced of Locked Wayne, or a Vanquisher's Banner. Ayara is one of the best cards in this deck. It drains your opponents for each black creature that enters, which will trigger for each rat token your command makes. Vanquisher's Banner on the other hand is just good value. Not only does it buff all your rats, every time you cast a rat you're drawing a card. I want to say there's about 35 rats in this deck, you have no problem triggering Vanquisher's Banner. Besides the cards I just mentioned, you have your usual suspects in Mono Black, that's Knight's Whisper, Read the Bones, and Sign in Blood along with the Phyrexian Arena. These cards will really help the deck get going. The deck is running 25 rat colonies, they're miles better than Relentless Rats, and to help them along we also have Thrumming Stone. This goes nuts with rat colony and will really put you ahead. Terramonix the Rat Kring is a great addition in the sense that he gets you any number of rats in your top 5 of the library, and also gives all your rats toxic. If you end up going really wide, which you definitely will, the toxic mechanic will really help you in the game. Ashcoat of the Shadow Swarm is probably the best rat you'll have in this deck because it brings back rats from your graveyard at the end of your turn and also has the ability to make your rats humongous. This is basically a game ender and graveyard recursion all built into one. And yeah, I know Ashcoat is very expensive, but trust me, he will change the way your deck plays. Lord Skitter Sewer King is a bit of graveyard hate along with being a token generator. Making a rat every turn and exiling something from a graveyard is fantastic for 3 mana. Ink Eyes Servant of Oni will help you steal creatures from your opponent's graveyards. Crypt Rats can wipe away the board or end the game if you have the most life. And Ogre Slum Lord gives all your rats death touch and is a token generator when you're sacrificing rat colony to your commander. I want to give one last nod in this category to Thornbite Staff. This equipment will go in with your commander it states whenever a creature is put into a graveyard from play untap this creature so whenever you sacrifice one of your rats to activate your commander you get to untap your commander and do it all over again you can keep at it for a billion million twenty five thousand hundreds yeah you get the picture if you do want a tutor if you do want to include a tutor in your deck, I would suggest Diabolic Intent. It's a two mana sack of creature, get anything into your hand. This is amazing when you make a lot of rats, which you will. It is also a cheaper alternative to those like a Demonic Tutor. Deadly Dispute, another great option for card advantage. You sack a creature, draw two, and make a treasure. Heraldic Banner buffs your rats and taps for mana. Eldrazi Monument can be a great protection piece for your rats. Sting the Glinting Dagger is another way to untap your commander at the beginning of every combat. One card I'm on the fence about because I love to lose my friends is Contamination. This is a three mana enchantment that turns all lands into swamps, even your opponent's lands. I've always thought about running it to piss off my play group, and this might be the deck for it. This deck is expensive as is, but I've included some higher price cards that are considered maybes. Necropotence, the Meat Hook Massacre, and Phyrexian Tower are great choices to help the deck run smoother and faster this category is totally up to you and how you want to build your deck i'm just here to give you an idea this has been a short review of Marinar, the one and only rat commander i really hope you enjoyed it if you had any comments or suggestions please let me know i love talking to you guys in the comment section other than that thank you all for watching and don't forget laying rat traps for your opponents is the stinkiest way to victory